Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm Cat and I'm Raven. And today we are making polyglamorous. Yes. Ooh la la. Correctly this time. Yes. <laughs> we've made this. This will be what the third time we've yes. made this. The first time around we made it right. The second time around I made a boo boo. I'll, I'll throw a picture up on the screen now. Uh, so this fragrance oil that we use discolors. Significantly. And your girl forgot to add the vanilla color stabilizer in a batch, so it looks like somebody threw a sepia tone on it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Definitely have the vanilla color stabilizer this time, and Kat will be mixing this one because I am slowly getting her to be comfortable mixing the Pride soaps. Uh, if you want to see any of the other ones we've made, I'll go ahead and add a link up in the iCard. We do a whole series. If you're new here, hi. We make soap. We've done a lot of flags. <laughs> a lot of flags. Because that's important. Representation matters. Ugly ugly. So we've got our oils. We've got our sodium hydroxide with our water and our sodium lactate. The sodium lactate is going to be especially important in this loaf because we have to use the Villa Color Stabilizer, which makes things more liquidy. While she's doing that, I will put a picture up on the screen now of the polyamory flag. There it is. It's so okay. You want to tell the uh, tell the class what polyamory is? Polyamory is loving more than one person at once. Yes. It's loving all the peoples. Ethically. Ethically. <laughs> Consensual Ethic non-monogamy. Ethical non-monogamy. Yeah, ethical non-monogamy. Consensual and ethical non-monogamy. Yes. There we go. Our new scale over there. I don't know if we've had it on camera yet or not, but if we have it, new scale. We got fancy because we kept killing our scales. Would not recommend using a food scale, like a kitchen scale, because it doesn't handle getting lye on it very well. So this is uh, the cheat sheet that I made. So in case you needed at all to know that Raven was um, particular. <laughs> It's the nice word. I have a cheat sheet for all of our pride soaps where I tell exactly how much fragrance to use, exactly how much each layer needs to have in it, and what colors we use. I'm not really being all about these things. It's just useful. <laughs> Here, so you can see that is in fact cat measuring. Whoa. No. <laughs> They're not on camera. I know you. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> so the fragrance we use for um, this one is called Butt Naked. <laughs> and Raven put a D on it. So d for discolor. Raven gave it the D. For discolor. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Do you regret putting that on there before we filmed? Yes. <laughs> it's for discolor. <laughs> So just in case you're new to our channel or soap making in general, when I say that it discolors, <laughs> what it means is that it will react. There, there's vanillin in it and vanillin turns dark over time. Um, so unless we put vanilla color stabilizer in it to try and combat that, it will turn brown. Okay, so let's come on over here because this is something we don't normally show, uh, being really precise with these layers. the rest of that one. The benefit to having Kat be able to also pour the pride soaps is that now it doesn't have to be me by myself doing all of them. Now we can have, when we're not filming, we can have each one of us working on a pride soap at the same time and that saves time. It makes us more efficient. Given how much of the pride soaps we have to make, that's paramount. So for for the red, we are using Trial by Fire. We didn't talk about the black, did we? It's just black iron oxide, but no, we didn't. I believe they've seen us use that black iron oxide a lot, <laughs> though. We use the black iron oxide from Mad Micah's and Trial by Fire's from Nurture Soap. Yes. We usually put the links down in the description. 
if you want to check them out. Um, for Nurture Soap, we do have affiliate links. So you still pay the North same normal price, but we make a small percentage back. We only ever do that on things that we actually use and enjoy. I'm trying to get in that affiliate program with Mad Micahs, but I haven't heard back on it yet still. Might have to reach out to them. I love that red. Me too. So pretty. It doesn't bleed. Welcome to club, can't see anything. Just gonna leave the camera here and you're just gonna have a shitty angle. Sorry. So I went ahead and added the blue. We are using electric blue. I got the exact same amount of blue on both of these. Nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's supposed to be tap it, not shake it. Treat it like a baby, don't shake the baby. Okay, glitter time. We're using black onyx and viral glitter. Starting with a generous helping of that. And then we got um, blue. Yeah, it's just blue. <laughs> it's sky blue, but yeah, it's blue. <laughs> I swear, talking about colors as a soaper is kind of like that scene in Avatar when they're embossing Say and <laughs> they get the the letter that's like, oh, the Earth King is, and his bear are celebrating their birthday. And they're all like, don't you mean like duck bear or like koala bear or not koala bear, but like lynx bear or whatever, like all these combo bears. And they're like, no, it, it just says bear. And they're all really weirded out by it. And finally, some ruby slippers from Mad Micah's. Like you can't talk about just blue. In colorants and soap, it's like, well, which blue though? Is it sky blue? Is it ocean blue? There we go. Lots of glitter! <laughs> you feel good now? Yes. All right. So part one is all done. Part two will be tomorrow where we'll split the loaves in the diagonal and pour the second half. So we'll see you in a minute. Welcome back to Cat and Raven Designs. Day two. So, sorry guys. Usually we'll show you the split. <laughs> They're already splitting in the molds. What had happened was... What had happened was... Uh, we were cutting a couple of other soaps that we... Off camera. Off camera. Pride soaps. We've already filmed them. Yada, yada, yada. And our little soap... DIY soap cutter... Um, <sighs> had a boo-boo. Yeah. It, this The string snapped. We wouldn't have been able to cut these when we needed to cut these had we proceeded with the full-on making of... So what we ended up having to do, and we actually got a new string for it today, so that's why we're going ahead and completing this one. As a point of clarification, we use guitar strings on our soap cutter, and I didn't buy guitar strings a few months ago when I should have, uh, like having backup strings, and it's quarantine, and nobody's open that sells guitar strings. <laughs> Of a specific gauge. So we ended up going on Nextdoor looking in the neighborhood, which I almost never go there. I don't recommend going to Nextdoor for the most part, especially right now. Don't. Um, save made, yourselves. Yeah, save yourselves. I made a post asking if anybody in the neighborhood had a spare guitar string. Shout out to Karen and Rancho Cordova. Uh, Karen with the C. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. I don't know if you'll ever see this, but thank you. Saved our, our, our butts for this week. Because the 12-pack uh, of guitar strings I ordered won't be here for another week. We needed to be able to split the bars because we don't need to be going through any more of our cake levelers that we used to split the bars. Because we've already gone through... To what, split the loaves. Or to split the loaves. Because we've already gone, gone through, what, three of those during this quarantine so far? Three, yeah. Three of them. Sorry, cake splitters. Cake S levelers. Yeah, so we went ahead and... Split them on the diagonal like we normally would, and then put them in the molds and wrap them. If you really need to see it, here is a clip of us splitting the loaf from one of our previous ones, because all of our pride soaps basically get constructed the same way. It's just the different flag, and we try to talk about different things. So there you go. There's a little clip. Enjoy. That's how it went. Only different colors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so loafs are split. We got our oils, we got our lye water and sodium lactate. Let's combine these m****s. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> huh? Why do you do this to me? Do what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Greg? 
<laughs> so this is our vanilla color stabilizer, in case we didn't show it before. It's from Nature's Garden. Not sponsored. Though, uh, if you want to sponsor us, Nature's Garden, hit us up. And yes, I am aware that Kat is not wearing long sleeves. And no, I don't like it. But here we are. She do what she want. What she's not telling you is that we made, remade a soap earlier that has embeds. She was putting the embeds on gloveless. How dare you? You know I can just edit this out, right? <laughs> <laughs> don't you tattle on me. <laughs> Sometimes I need to take my gloves off with the embeds because they're small and detailed and I can't get them where I need them with the gloves on. Excuses, excuses. Terry. This is our solution to the flag being upside down is that now we pour them upside down. We'll flip these over when they come out. I think this is the first time <clears throat> we've showed them the solution to uh, our upside down problem. Is it? I think so. Oh God. <laughs> Well, in case we haven't, um, so the problem we were having for the longest time is that when we flip the loaf into the four molds, two of them were upside down. So two of the flags had their final colors going the wrong way, Oops. which sucked. And we, I was especially not a fan of. It wasn't noticeable on flags like transgender or um, I believe agender, where they're the same both ways. But for this almost every other flag it was very noticeable that half of them were upside down so now what we do is we go ahead and roll with that <laughs> and we put the hearts in upside down and then flip over the loaf when it comes out with the bars and then we have half that are well they're all going the right way with their stripes but half have like the triangle going up and the other half have the triangle going down if that makes sense. I'll put a, a picture to show you. So we got sky blue. We have got ruby slippers from Mad Micah's. And finally, last but not least, my personal favorite, Silver Hollow from Nurture Soap. We got some new molds for the extra soap. So you may have noticed when we have extra soap, we have these little skull molds, which I regret having only bought one of these because now I can't find them anywhere. <laughs> they were a seasonal thing at, I think, Michael's. Uh, but they're Wilton silicone baking pan things, but they've got cute little skulls. So we got some new molds that now we have little gravestones that we can use, which is super fun. So this was uh, from remaking Beetlejuice earlier, but these are cool. So now we'll have a different variety of shapes for sample soaps because we use these. Any extra soap goes into the sample soap bars. So now there'll be the regular off cuts from the loaves plus the skulls and the gravestones, because we're super into that motif. Okay, so these four are all over the place right now, but they are all set and ready. There we go. So we're gonna let those sit for another 24 hours, and then we will come back and give those a cup. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Okay. So, here's stripes. Other side. <laughs> it's not really much to see. Not really much to see here. <laughs> Glitter. You know, our typical, our typical look for these. First cut, y'all. <laughs> this one looks right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there it is. So what we typically do with this particular design, because the polyamory flag has an, a pie symbol on the red stripe, what we've been doing is we just take some gold, some gold mica, and we just draw the pie symbol on there. We'd like to eventually get a soap stamp, a custom soap stamp for that. I mean, I, I think at this point we've already, I, I've already revealed at least in a live stream that I am Polly. Yep. I'm very open about it too, which I guess is not a common theme at this point. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say that's, I don't know, it, it's mixed. Like there's definitely some, some realms of social groups where it's more common to talk about it. I know it's really common to talk about it in like the kink community. I don't know. I think it's totally okay so long as, you know, like, everybody involved is made aware and consents and, you know. I mean, like, my parents know about it. And my mom's reaction when I told her was essentially, like, I mean, how 
like I can barely manage one partner. How can you do multiple? <laughs> I mean, if you can do it, cool, more power to you, but dang. I just, I feel like it's fine. You're not hurting anybody. That, that's generally my sort of rule. Are you hurting anyone else? Are you hurting yourself? Or are you forcing this on anyone? If the answer is no to all three of those, that's a good start. Yeah. It's obviously not like the only things to check for with anything, but it's a good place to begin. Yeah. And poly requires like a lot of communication. So like if you're not being open and honest and properly communicating with your partners, like, yeah, you're going to be hurting people. That feels like a solid thing to make sure you're doing with any relationship. <laughs> I know. You know, poly, monogamous, or whatever. If you're not communicating and keeping your partner up to date on... Do we have a funky bar? I mean, it's an inch, but... If you've ever wondered what we do, like, our sample bars vary really heavily right now because we have to cut each bar individually. So sometimes this happens. So sometimes when you order one of our sample bars, you end up with a big chunky bar. It happens. So like, well, if we have bars that are full size, but maybe there's something wrong with them, like there's an air pocket or something... So they've got a hole. Those go into the sample bars. If we have like a full size bar, but it didn't cut properly. And it's a design like this where there is a purpose for the heart. Okay. So you're supposed to be able to see the light through the heart. Because we want the light to be able to shine through the heart. Like when you get an end piece like this. You can't see it. You can't see it. And we don't want to cut it smaller than an inch. Because, you know, then it feels like we're, we're not giving you your full bar. Are your gloves covered in red mica because you sat there and poked at a piece of mo mica? Okay, I... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't poke at the piece of mica. I accidentally swiped at the piece of mica and then I was trying to clean it up. <laughs> I know there might be some people because it happened like all of once on our TikTok when we first originally were posting the designs for this. Where there's going to be somebody that says that polyamory is not part of LGBT. That's, uh, <laughs> that's your opinion, I guess. <laughs> you know? Hopefully there isn't really anybody doing that over here. But, I, I mean, you're welcome to your opinion. I don't have to agree with you. <laughs> Nor do I. <laughs> Especially because a lot of people in polyamorous relationships, one or more of the partners is LGBTQ plus anyways. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think that they're part of LGBTQ plus and this is our series. And I mean, you don't have to agree with it, but here we are. We're doing it. We've done it. We did it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Exactly. I don't know. It, sometimes the argument against polyamory being in the community feels to me really similar to the argument against Ace being in the community. You know, and like Ace is totally part of the community. Polly's part of the community. Whatever. This is our series and we're going to do what we want with it. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it's ultimately what it comes down to. Well, on a more positive note, I don't remember if we talked about this earlier on in the video or not, but we have a Discord channel now, a Discord server. Um, big loves and shout outs to Yuki and Alex who helped us set it up. They did the vast majority of the work. I was going to say, I think about the only thing we did was like open up the channel. <laughs> and give them access. And, yeah, and give them yeah. access. <laughs> Here's your badge, go wild. <laughs> and then when they were like, hey, we need you guys to do this to make it more official. We just did what they told us to do. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to come and hang out with us in Discord, we, we go on there a lot now at this point because it's a really fun place to go and and talk to you all. I'm not gonna lie on kick. I really did enjoy the use of the band hammer. Like we'd have people come into our groups and like like immediately violate the rules. Oh geez. A little different, you know, on our server. Yeah. Like I said, the people that I was band hammering were like the ones that were immediately coming in and breaking the rules. Like causing one, problems. Well, like one of the rules that we had in the group was like no message, private messaging people without first getting their consent, like in the group. Sure. Because not everybody wants to be private messaged. And like we would get these guys coming in and like immediately like PMing all of the, the females in the group. Like my favorite was when they would PM me oh, no. and I had a little crown next to my 
my picture because like if you are a mod in the group you have a little crown yeah like a little badge yeah and i had a little crown so obviously i was mod and they would like they would pan me with dick pics really yeah they would go straight uh. to the dick pic or or like go straight to like the pickup lines one of the two i would really like to understand what the thought process is there you know number one Ain't nobody ask. Nobody asks for that. Like, if I want to see your dick, I'll ask. Right. And then, like, when has that ever worked? When is that? That's like walking up to someone in public and just whipping it out and being like, hey. Hey, baby. Hey, here's my dick. What? No. And then they would get all pissy with me when I banned them. What the, was that for? Did you even read the rules? Yeah, pretty much. And they their comeback was, it's just a stupid kick group. Like, nobody ever enforces the rules. <laughs> we do. It looks like that's what just happened. Crazy. And be like, this is stupid. I'm reporting your group. I'm like, too late. I've already reported you. Reported your group for what? Like, you had a clear set of rules. You broke them. And you're sexually harassing someone. Yeah, you're in the right here, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah, no. I mean, it was a king group, but still. Th I mean, that's not an open invitation <laughs> yeah, to no. violate the consent. rules. Oh, no, no. But, like, if that's I why didn't that's... consent to see your dick, I don't want to see your dick. But that was their basis for trying to report the group. The problem with reporting the group was, like, we weren't posting any pictures in the group, at least not, like, super explicit ones. I don't know. Consent's important. Consent is important. Yes. How many times do I have to say that? Hopefully not a lot to the people here in, in our community, but like, consent is important. Yes. Enth consent. Always consent. Enthusiastic consent is sexy. Yes. There we go. The last one. Ta-da! Ta-da! And here are the finished polyamory bars. Well, mostly finished. I'll throw a picture up on the screen because we've made this before. I have finished photos already of what it looks like when we draw the pie symbol on there. Hopefully soon we get one of those custom soap stamps so we can stamp the pie symbol on there instead of having to draw it. But in the meantime, here's what it looks like. Oh, all right. So you'll be able to grab these uh, all year round. We restock these as often as we can. Uh, our next release is going to be May 27th on catandravendesigns.com at 8 a.m. Pacific time per usual. <laughs> you can pick up any of our soaps there, and you can also check us out on Instagram and Facebook, where we're Cat and Raven Designs. And we're on Discord now with the Glitter Cult. Link is down in our description. And uh, we're also on TikTok, where we're Cat and Raven. All right, well, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're taking care of yourself and taking care of the people in your life. And uh, we're sending you good thoughts and good vibes and the whole thing. Mm -hmm. All right, bye.